let's get started what's up you guys it's migraine earthling here thank you so much for watching my first video for those of you who don't know i was formerly the migraine cause on instagram i uh changed my name because i wanted it to be well i decided that i wanted it to be more personal so this is my very very first youtube video i've been thinking about doing youtube for probably over three years now so this is pretty much long overdue i just want to go you know into depth about my migraine journey and um uh, just basically where i am in my journey so far i've had migraines for seven years over seven years now i got my first migraine back in 2011 i remember coming home from work and I just had a really, really bad migraine. I ended up just taking the Tylenol when I got up in the morning. It was gone. But little did I know it was going to be stuck with me for the rest of my life. So after that day, I was constantly, I'm going to say pretty much every day for the next three three and a half years, I was getting constant migraines. So... After those three agonizing, painful, painful years, I was like, well, I got to do something. Like, I can't, li I literally cannot live the rest of my life like that. You know, I was basically bed bound. I was just in my bed all day. Um, I wouldn't really go out anywhere unless I absolutely needed to. I had to cut out my social life with my friends and, you know, it was just, it was a big mess. So I was like, I can't. I can't do this no more. So what I ended up doing was I went to the nurse's office at my university because I was, um, I think I was a sophomore or something at the time. That is when I got diagnosed uh, by one of the doctors there um, with chronic migraines. She went ahead and got me on some medication and she gave me some preventatives of preventatives as well she did give me sumatriptan that's all i really remember i was on that for almost a year and they weren't really giving me the results that i wanted to because uh, from what i know now medication only is only a temporary thing your body does get used to the medication at a certain point that medication starts to wear off at that point, I kind of just decided that I didn't want to, you know, be on medication and preventatives and trying this and trying that for possibly the rest of my life. So what I decided on my own was I'm just going to go ahead and do my own research on chronic migraines and, you know, just study on it so I can know if there's anything that I can personally do instead of, you know, relying on these medications and preventatives. I started reading articles on the internet. I also did buy a couple books, watched like a bunch, a ton of videos on YouTube. So this is actually, I'm not sure if you guys, hopefully you guys can see that. This was actually the first book that I've read on chronic migraines and it goes into depth about so many things like food triggers, uh, you know, medications that actually cause rebound headaches. If you are unaware of what type of migraines you have, I suggest uh, reading this book because it goes into depth about different types of migraines that actually exist. The book also goes into depth about birth control and migraines, uh, sleep and migraines, like it dives into a little bit of everything. So I highly recommend this book for um, those of you who are looking to be more knowledgeable on chronic migraines. For those of you who are interested in purchasing the book to learn more, more about chronic migraines and triggers and, and all that kind of stuff, um, I will put the link below to the book in the description. I learned a lot about migraines and I learned a lot about, you know, the triggers, what you put in your body and what you do to your body can be triggers as well. I'm going to say that what you put in your body plays a big role in 
chronic migraines. Certain ingredients like caffeine, foods that have preservatives in it, MSG, any gluten type of ingredients. Gluten ca causes inflammation in the body. Gluten is a big cause um, or it can be one of many triggers that us chronic migraineurs have. I started to learn a lot more about what not to put in my body and what I can put in my body. I basically became a vegetarian um, over two years ago and just giving up meat alone helped me like all meat, chicken, beef, pork, fish. The added hormones that are added into our meat does affect our bodies inside and how it works and how it you know is supposed to function properly you know it stops it from doing that because of those hormones those added hormones are not supposed to be in us you know so and you know honestly I have my own ethical reasons as to why um, I became vegetarian as well those were my first steps to semi recovery because till this day I still have migraines but they are not on a daily basis anymore. I came across plant-based diets and the one thing that really stuck out to me about plant-based diets is how much it helped those who suffer from any chronic illness, any chronic disease. That's what really caught my eye to plant-based diet. So not too long after I became a vegetarian, I decided that I was going to next eliminate dairy and eggs. I don't want to go too into depth about dairy and eggs and how it can impact your body because there's, I mean, I can do an entire full video on why dairy and eggs are not good for migraines. That will be another video that I will do in the future. I want to say about close to eight months ago, I've gone completely plant-based. And I kid you not, you guys, like seriously, I feel so much better now that I've changed, that I've, you know, made so many changes to my diet. I do not regret changing to a plant-based diet. I feel like it's been one of the best decisions in my life. At this point in my journey, I'm still, you know, I'm still learning every day about new triggers and new studies. Um, so... I am far from done for my journey and that is okay with me. So for those of you who are looking for a more um, a holistic approach to tackling migraines, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be creating future content to help you guys throughout your journey. So I'm not going to say and say here that I have the cure for you guys. I only want to be here to help to help you in your journey. You guys, go ahead and comment below about your migraine story. I would love to hear about your guys' migraine story. Also, comment below if you guys have any um, future video ideas that you guys would be interested in doing. I already have, um, you know, like a list of content that I am looking forward to doing for you guys. So even though this was about my migraine journey uh, slash my migraine story. I do hope that you guys found something informative out of it. So I think I'm gonna uh, go ahead and wrap up this video. Before I forget, I am actually doing a giveaway, I'm gonna say in about a week or so. The giveaway actually consists of products that um, can help alleviate chronic migraines. I will be posting it on my YouTube channel. I'll, that's probably actually the next video that I'll make for you guys is about um, the giveaway. I will also be making a post on Instagram about the giveaway. So look out for that too. I look forward to hearing your guys' stories. So don't forget to comment below and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, bye.